All right, so today we're doing a good old fashioned shootout. I have my Leica M6 with me and I have an Ilford HP5 disposable camera. I've put HP5 into my Leica and we're gonna do a head to head. We're gonna see if it really makes a difference if you have a nice camera, if the film is the same or if there's no difference at all. So one thing I've not ever really experimented with is the depth of field on these disposable cameras. When I shoot different things, what does the depth of field look like depending on where I'm standing? So we're gonna test that out now. back home. We're currently in what will be my darkroom space in the future and you are going to be seeing a lot more of this room once it's all complete but until that happens there is a sink on the other side of this wall and that's where I'm going to be developing the film from today. We're gonna see how well HP5 holds up. Does it matter what kind of camera you use? The answer is in the film. We're about to find out. There are a few things I do want to cover while our film is drying, and the first is the durability of these two cameras. Obviously, this disposable camera will not be as durable as the Leica. It's not meant to be reused. You're not supposed to reload film into it. You're supposed to use it once, bring it to the lab to develop your film, and be done with it. The next point that I want to talk about is cost. A disposable camera will be much more cost effective than an SLR camera. However, in the long run, if you are purchasing multiple disposable cameras every month or every few months, it kind of balances itself out. You can find an affordable SLR camera for the same price as what you would pay for a few of these disposable cameras. Being able to do something like change your depth of field is not something you're going to really be able to do with a disposable camera, but with an SLR, you have the ability to change certain functions that give you more aesthetic creativity in your image. And that leads me to the next point, image quality. With an SLR, because you have the ability to change out your lenses, where you don't with a disposable camera, you're going to get a higher quality image, usually. And we're gonna find that out when our film is done, how the lens in this disposable camera stands up. But I can say that these are plastic, they're not glass. It's likely not going to be as high quality as our glass lenses. But I've never done a head-to-head -head with a disposable camera and an SLR, so I'm gonna be learning with you as we do this. The last thing that I wanna talk about is convenience. And I would say that this is going to be the biggest advantage that the disposable camera has over an SLR. Case in point, for New Year's, some friends and I went out to dinner and instead of bringing my Leica because it is slightly heavy and it's bulky, it's not something I can slip into a purse very easily, I brought a disposable camera. It was super easy to use. I had staff take pictures for me. I didn't have to worry about whether or not everyone was in focus or if they were all in frame because they're really easy to use. With an SLR, it's much more difficult, especially this kind of SLR, when you focus the camera there is a little bit of a learning curve. There isn't really a learning curve with the disposable cameras. 
it's quite nice to have that as something that you can just pull out wherever you are. One detail I do want to point out, the fact that the disposable cameras only come with 27 exposures, you can see that on the bottom, or 27 pictures, and the rolls that you put in an SLR camera come with 36. Now, I did do a little bit of research to figure out why disposable cameras come with only 27 pictures and the film that goes in an SLR camera comes with 36. But the only thing that I could find was that the canisters are a different size in order to accommodate being in a disposable camera. But when you look at these two right next to each other, they are identical very odd. I think it might be just a way to save money, which is fine, but know that when you are purchasing a disposable camera, you're getting about 10 pictures less than you would with a typical roll of film you put in an SLR camera. All right, so our film is nice and dry, and you check that by making sure when you pinch it, it's not tacky anymore. That's a good indicator of whether or not you are ready to pull it down. And my first impression is that I'm not super impressed with how the film on the disposable camera came out. Most of the images did not come out. I would say over half of them. All of the images on the Leica did come out. There's not a single blank frame on this reel of film, but again, almost half of the film on the disposable camera is blank. I'm disappointed. I was so hopeful that the disposable camera was going to be better and I know it's a disposable camera and you can't control exposure. I understand, but at the same time, part of me was hoping that I would discover something. How silly of me. Disposable cameras are great if you want to have something that is super easy, compact, and you're going to get your pictures most of the time. It's not a guarantee though, unfortunately. I do stand by the fact that disposable cameras are very convenient though. If you want something that you can take out to get pictures with your friends that's not going to be super bulky or inconvenient, a disposable camera is a great option. I will leave affiliate links down below for you to look at the one that I used in this video. There are tons of great options that you can find on Amazon. If you are hoping that the camera you are bringing with you is going to get the best pictures of your life, I would not recommend bringing a disposable camera. If you are going to a wedding where the pictures are incredibly important, I would bring something that's a little bit more reliable like an SLR. When the disposable camera is outside and it has the proper amount of light, it does much better. It doesn't do as great inside when there is not enough light to fill up the frame. That's something to keep in mind when you're taking pictures out on your own. The Ilford disposable camera comes with a fixed 35 millimeter lens. My Leica had a 50 millimeter lens. So there's gonna be a little bit more in the frame with the disposable camera than there is with my Leica. But side by side, I have to say the quality of the images goes to the Leica. But for just going around town and capturing images, the disposable camera did a pretty good job when it was outside and there was enough light. So if you are looking to go out with your friends, a disposable camera might be for you. And if that's not the case, if you need something that is a bit more reliable, there are SLR cameras that are affordable and I have some affiliate links for those down below as well if you think that's the option that suits you. It looks like the SLR wins on this one. I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, it helps me out. It's a great motivator to keep me making these videos. And until next time, I'm Tilly Scholl, and thanks for watching.